Ya, ya. Ya. Ya, ya, ya. Ya. Ya, ya, ya. Ya, ya. Yeah. So you may have seen this technique before on Instagram and Facebook. It's called double exposure and it's a really fun creative technique that you can do with any camera. Let me show you how. Okay, I got my wifey here. She's gonna help me out with the first step, which is taking a silhouette. Now silhouette's really easy. All we have to do is position the sun behind our subject and that's gonna make our subject really dark, which is what we want. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and get low and position her behind the sun. You can see how it starts to get dark. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. So the second step is a ton of fun. This is where we get to find something that has a really cool texture or has a really cool look and then overlay it on top of our first photo, which was the silhouette. What works really well are the tops of trees, uh, mountain tops, city skylines, anything that looks really cool but also has some sky in it. All right, we've taken the photos. Now we're ready to create that really cool double exposure look. Let me go ahead and show you how. So the first thing we need to do is get our photos over to our mobile device. I really like Dropbox. With Dropbox, I have a folder on my computer. I can drag the photos over to it and they automatically appear here in my phone. I click these three little dots in the top right of Dropbox. I click export and then click save image. Now, once we've done that, we need to create the double exposure. And for that, we're gonna use an app called Photoshop Mix by Adobe. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. I'm gonna go ahead and select the first photo, which is the silhouette. And this is my first layer. So what I wanna do now is overlay this with the second shot, which is the tree. So I'm gonna press this little plus button and I'm gonna go ahead and find that photo of the tree. Okay, so we have two layers. We have the silhouette on the bottom and the tree on top. So to create that double exposure, all we have to do is press the blend button and then press screen. And this is gonna allow us to create this really cool creative look. I'm just gonna rotate the tree, kind of move it around until it looks right. Once you're happy with the results, just go ahead and click the save button and then save the camera roll. And that'll save this double exposure to your mobile device. And once it's done that, you can actually jump into other photo editing apps. I really like Visco. And you can take that photo even further using some filters. I think I'm gonna go with P2. Get that really cool faded film look. Awesome. Don't scare me. Ah! <laughs> now, there's a cool little trick that we can do that costs no money, and all we have to do is reverse our lens. And in doing so, we're able to focus a lot, lot closer. Let me show you. <laughs> 